The angry waves are not the only danger a fisherman has to face. The ocean is home to the most abundant venomous reptile on Earth, the sea snake. On a fateful morning, one fisherman put his hands into the sea to collect the fish net he had laid the night before. Unfortunately for him, a coral reef snake trapped in the net bit his hand. The panicked fisherman caught the snake and brought it to the hospital with him. The fate of both the fisherman and the snake were now in our hands. Will the fisherman and the snake survive? Find out today on Tiny Medicine. We didn't treat the fisherman with anti-venom. In the next minute of the video, you'll learn why. The patient complained of mild pain, swelling, and numbness at the bite site. We knew that more than the local changes at the bite site, we had to keep an eye on the systemic effects of the toxins. Initial systemic signs are nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and dizziness. But the most feared complication of sea snake's bite is the neurotoxicity. The nerves meet muscles at neuromuscular junction. Acetylcholine released by the nerve ends binds to the receptors at the muscle membranes to initiate contraction. The sea snake toxins bind to these exact receptors. This results in muscle paralysis. Muscle paralysis begins with eye muscles. Drooping of eyelids or ptosis and double vision or diplopia are the resulting symptoms. Then the muscle paralysis descends to the throat muscles resulting in difficulty in swallowing and difficulty in speech. Generalized muscle weakness is a late symptom. If the respiratory muscles are paralyzed, the patient can develop fatal respiratory failure. Rare systemic effects of sea snake toxins include direct muscle toxicity, rhabdomyolysis, renal failure, and coagulopathy. We observed the patient for these signs. Thankfully, he did not develop any of the systemic signs. So why didn't we give the antivenom? Antivenoms for snake bites are highly allergenic. Sometimes it can cause anaphylaxis, a life-threatening allergic reaction. Since our fisherman didn't develop systemic toxicity, we were able to monitor him without administering the antivenom. All right, so what happened to the snake? Most sea snakes are seen in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. All sea snakes are poisonous and have paddle-like tails. The presence of scales and lack of fins and gills help to differentiate coral reef snakes from eels. The subject of our story happened to be a yellow-bellied sea snake. It belongs to the subfamily Hydrophiidae, which is the most common sea snake family. The other subfamily is Laticodinae. The sea snakes play dead when they are threatened, but after a while, our friend started to move. We consulted zoologists and released the snake back to the ocean according to their instructions. We were able to save two lives that day. Interesting, right? Subscribe to Tiny Medicine the world's most interesting medical YouTube channel. See you soon with another animation.